Prime Minister Mark Rutte has formally apologized for his country's role in the brutal transatlantic slave trade, which saw mostly Portugal, Britain, France, the U.S., Denmark, and his country, the Netherlands, uproot more than 15 million Africans from their ancestral lands over the course of 400 years. Historians estimate that at the height of the Dutch Empire, between the 16th and the 19th centuries, Dutch traders exploited enslaved and shipped up to 600,000 Africans to their colonies in South America and the Caribbean where they worked primarily on sugar plantations. Many of the slaves were from West Africa where the Dutch initially began trading with coastal tribes before taking over their lands and enslaving the people. They abducted their first group of people from the Gold Coast in present-day Ghana and later briefly colonized the country. They also invaded and took control of parts of Ivory Coast, Angola, Namibia, Mozambique, Senegal, Mauritania, including Sao Tome and Principe. And at the turn of the 18th century, the Dutch established their first settlement on the continent in Cape Town, South Africa. They ruled and continued to trade slaves through the Dutch East India Trading Company for 250 years until the early 20th century when the British took full control following the Second Anglo-Boer War of 1899 to 1902. In his remarks at The Hague, Root described the actions of the Dutch state as crimes against humanity. The Netherlands now joins Denmark, France, the UK, and the European Parliament, which have issued apologies for officially recognized slavery and the slave trade as a war crime. Root says the Dutch government has no plans to pay reparations to the descendants of African slaves. Instead, it will spend about $30 million on a slavery museum and allocate $200 million to slavery awareness projects. So for a long time, I actually thought that our slavery past was history that lies behind us. But I was wrong, because centuries of oppression and exploitation affect the here and now, in racist stereotypes, in discriminatory patterns of exclusion and social inequality. And to break through that, we must also face the past openly and honestly. Meanwhile, descendants of African slaves in the former Dutch colony of Suriname, where Dutch plantation owners made huge profits through the use of enslaved labor, have rejected the apology. They say it should have come from the Dutch king, Willem Alexander, and been made on the 1st July next year, when Suriname marks the 150th anniversary of the end of slavery.